Legends, Myth versus Fact. Three narrators on camera discussing the Navy's drug policy. In 1981, 14 sailors died when a plane crashed on a carrier flight deck. Autopsy showed that six of the flight deck crew had marijuana in their bloodstreams at the time of the crash. Being under the influence of drugs is clearly contrary to effective performance. And in the Navy, that can mean failure to act appropriately in a life or death situation. That's why the Navy has a drug testing program and a zero tolerance policy for Navy members who test positive for drugs. Zero tolerance means that if you fail a Navy drug test, you will be punished and processed for separation with an other than honorable discharge. Punishments can also include restriction, loss of pay, loss of educational benefits, demotion, and correctional custody. And the Navy drug screening program makes getting caught a virtual certainty. It's simply a matter of time before any Navy member using drugs will be identified. The Navy Drug Screening Program, or NDSP, is a computer program that randomly selects a percentage of a command's members to be tested. Even the program's administrators don't know in advance what day the computer will choose as a testing day. Those to be tested are selected by Social Security number, by the computer, not by the command. Every command is required to test at least 10% of its force monthly and conduct a unit sweep at least once a year. And again, the dates for the tests are unknowable in advance because the program is absolutely random. All samples are taken to one of three Navy laboratories where they are tested for drugs such as cocaine, marijuana, PCP, heroin, codeine, morphine, LSD, amphetamines, and barbiturates. The test can also detect street drugs such as ecstasy and meth. Positive samples are tested three times to ensure absolute accuracy in our testing. The final tests are so sensitive that they can break suspicious samples down to the molecular level, identifying drugs with extreme precision. If all three tests are positive, there's no doubt the sample contains the reported drug. In other words, the poppy seed defense for morphine or the secondhand smoke defense for marijuana won't work. The test can't be fooled or compromised, and regardless of what you see on the internet, masks for drugs just don't work. One thing that can cause you problems with the drug testing program is taking an over-the-counter drug that you buy in a foreign country. Foreign drug companies don't follow the same guidelines as American manufacturers, and they don't have a Food and Drug Administration overseeing their product. So they may put substances in their medicine that are illegal in America. These illegal substances could cost you your Navy career. Bottom line, don't get medicine anywhere but in America or from a Navy medical facility. And just to cover all your bases, make sure to notify your command's urinalysis program coordinator whenever you're taking medicine. And notify them before your drug screening test. Right. Remember, too, that all samples are tested. If you submit a sample, it will get analyzed. The Navy's drug testing program has been proven scientifically accurate and legally defensible. The meticulous chain of custody procedures prevent any mishandling or adulteration of the specimens. The testing laboratories have redundant systems in place that guarantee samples don't get switched or mislabeled. Because the Navy's program is administered so carefully, evidence provided by Navy labs has repeatedly been accepted by courts as correct and accurate. The good news is that our Navy program works. In 1980, before the program began, 17% of Navy personnel tested positive for illegal drug use. But the current percentages are below 1%, so the message is getting out and the Navy is a stronger, safer service as a result. The fact is, the Navy's zero tolerance drug policy is here to stay. We all have to live with it. But it's a small sacrifice with big benefits. To make sure the policy works for you and not against you, just remember the points we've made in this video. Anyone and everyone who fails at Navy drug screening will be punished and processed for administrative separation. Punishments include restrictions, loss of educational benefits, reduction in rate, fines, correctional custody, and an other than honorable discharge. 
And contrary to what some people believe, the passage of time does not remove or neutralize an other than honorable discharge. It stays with you. Testing is completely random. Test days are determined by the Navy Strike Screening Computer Program, so even program administrators can't know in advance when screening will occur. At least 10% of every command will be screened monthly. The computer randomly selects participants by social security number. Because the tests can detect drug components on a molecular level, they cannot be fooled, gamed, or compromised. If you test positive, the results will hold up in court. And because the tests are so accurate, a defense of secondhand smoke or poppy seeds won't work. Never buy over-the-counter drugs in a foreign country because they may have components that test positive on a Navy drug test. Even foreign-made cold medicines and painkillers may sink your career. So stick to American and Navy-issued medicines only. If you are taking a drug prescribed by your doctor, let your urinalysis program coordinator know and make sure the information gets into your record before your next screening. All samples taken are tested, not just a percentage of them. And the labs stay up to date on the latest street drugs so they can and will detect them. Look, the program works for all of us. You don't want your life, health, or career jeopardized by someone whose judgments and reactions are impaired by drugs. None of us wants a repeat of that plane crash back in 1981. So the Navy has put in place a program that's fair, honest, and accurate to protect all of us from the actions of a misguided minority. That's the reality of the Navy's Zero Tolerance Program. If we ignore the myths and accept the reality of it, the Navy is a better, safer place for all of us. Zero Tolerance. Produced for Navy Alcohol and Drug Abuse Prevention Branch by the Naval Media Center. Production services by MacArthur Communications Incorporated, Richmond, Virginia. Project identification number 806-719. Produced in 2004.